Seven ways to entice online buyers. Number one, a press release. Putting out press releases about something that might be happening about your business. And you could post those online and then you link to your website. And the more links you have to your website, the more you'll get listed higher on the search engines as well. So that's something else you wanna do is expand your expertise out there as much as you can. Uh, you can also pay for advertising and uh, you can do newsletters with other, other people that are in your industry. You can write your own articles because if you're an expert on something and you should all be an expert at something, you write an article, usually about three to 700 words, do a search on Google for free articles and you'll find lots of websites that are looking for articles on all types of topics. So then on the bottom of your article, you'll have a short bio talking about your expertise and then linking to your website. I like a good strong call to action in mine. It says to get $100 value, you know, the three, a free six week e-course and the audio download, $100 value for free, go to debbieallen.com. So again, there's a call to action at the bottom, not just the website, and a reason for them to go there. Number four is joint ventures. Transfers credibility, because if there's somebody else in your industry that's also promoting you, it expands your credibility. Some of the marketing alliances that I've done business and joint ventures with are people like Joe Vitale and Mark Victor Hansen and we've done co-promoting and co-marketing on different things like that and it transfers that credibility because we have the same kind of customer being a marketing expert that may want to get more information from one of us so if somebody's promoting one another back and forth it helps that credibility and you can actually share email lists that way because you're not actually sharing the sharing the information but if you put uh, uh, someone's information in your newsletter you could actually take that other expert's information, put a little article from them, link to their website, they get some of yours, and you could do the same on theirs. So you can expand your database list. See, online, it's all about building your database list. It's all a numbers game. So if you have a really good website with great benefit messages, and then you're just building and building your database list because you have search engine optimization, you have joint ventures, business coming from articles, press releases, and audio and video. They go, oh, I can go on your website. I can actually see there's a personality there. An audio could be a live testimonial of one of your customers. It could be you speaking. If you go to my website, you're going to find a video right up front. It's going to tell you right what to do once you get there. So I've done all the ways to get you to my website. Now that I'm, I get you there, you're going to see a video of me. I introduce myself, and then I say, if you're looking for a speaker, a uh, motivational business speaker, sales and marketing, and effective self-promotion, then I welcome you to click here. And I actually point to where the link is on my site. Click here to go to my website to learn about my presentations. Click over here to watch my live demo video. Or if you came to my website just to learn how to get more successful and increase your sales and marketing experience, go over here and click on my bookstore. So I actually direct them. So there's no question when they come onto my, my site who that customer is and where they need to go on my site amazingly effective. You're going to see a lot more of that because as you think of the internet, it's like we call that the, the big web because you, know, you can spend hours on there and you're linking over here and you're going from here to here because it's kind of this big web that gets you caught in there. So now that we're adding a lot of personality to it, you're doing more than just reading. You're actually getting experience of what that business is like or as me being a speaker, you know, my demo video. Of course, if they want to hire me, they get a little sample of what I'm like versus just reading the text and trusting it. Same with you. What's it like to do business with that person? What's it like, uh, you know, based on what they had to say here? I want to get a feel of the personality of that business. That's a very powerful thing right now is adding more of the video. Now, this is a picture of my landing page, and you'll see the video. See right there in the middle is the video. And here I've used uh, on the title bar, you'll see the title bar, and then below the title bar, I've actually repeated some of those key words that I had in the top one third of my page. The most important part of your website is gonna be the top one third of your main page because that is what people are looking for for keywords. And again, if those keywords are all over that top one third, you're gonna get listed um, higher on that. So that's one of the strategies of 
making that really effective instantly. That's one thing you can do automatically. Go back to your website right now, pay attention to the keywords on your title bar. If they're not there, add them right away. If your webmaster does not know how to add keywords and have any kind of marketing experience at all, then I'd say get a new webmaster. But again, you need to know enough to where you know what to ask for to get the best uh, from your webmaster. Okay, number six is pop-up pages. A lot of times you'll go to a website and you've looked around, you spent a lot of time, maybe you read some articles, what read more about them, you're getting ready to leave and then all of a sudden a pop-up page comes on and it stays on there. You either have to click it off and close the window or maybe it says, hey, don't leave yet. You're going to miss out on that free opportunity we have here. And then maybe that's what you use it for, you know, to add a place where somebody can sign up for your newsletter or a free offer or something like that. So those can be effective. I actually had one of my webmaster when I first added one of the pop-up pages on my website um, or a scrolling bar or something like that. I had the uh, my webmaster say, "Well, those don't work," and people get upset with those. And I said, "Well, you know, I just traveled across the country and spent thousands of dollars uh, for an internet guru that's making millions of dollars in his pajamas. Tell me they work, so I'm going to try it." Versus a webmaster who's broke working for somebody else. So, uh, you know, I thought if I can get planes, I'll take it off, right? So, um, of course, I worked and it increased my, my uh, newsletter, increased by about, you know, four times the amount of people automatically by having that there. So, and things change. So, you got to try what works for you. And as you tweak and change your business, this isn't something you just put out there. You don't just put the website up and then forget about it. It's a work in progress. I mean, I spent, you know, uh, hundreds and thousands of dollars on my website on a consistent basis, changing, adding, adjusting, tweaking to make it work because I know how much money I'm getting from it. So I put a lot of energy into it. It's not just that it's uh, there. So click here buttons are very powerful. Uh, I remember as we adjusted our website, we added more to it. We had just too many links. So a lot of times you can add links right into your text to where it's blue, it looks like a hyperlink, so you want them to go somewhere else based on what you're saying, you can do that. Or you want them to click here. It's funny, like it's like yeah, like a little kid, like say, don't touch this, you gotta touch it. So when you're on the web, it says click here, and then you realize you've been on here for hours and you're somewhere you don't even know you are because you just, it said click here and you kept clicking, you know. So um, those are very, very effective, the, the click here button. So use those sparingly and use those wi wisely. Um, you can even use like a click through scrolling bar uh, to get attention, just a little bit of flash. 